हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल नॉलेज एम्पलीफायर सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव स्टार्टेड डिस्कशन ऑन काफ्का प्रोड्यूसर इंटरनल्स एंड आई हैव कवर्ड दिस पर्टिकुलर डायग्राम व्हिच बेसिकली एक्सप्लेन्स द बैक एंड इवेंट्स व्हाटएवर हैपेंस व्हेन वी पब्लिश सम मैसेजेस टू आवर काफ्का क्लस्टर राइट नाउ टुडे इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्फिगरेशंस रिलेटेड टू दिस पर्टिकुलर फ्लो which will surely help you to build a better kafka cluster for your production system okay so already i have discussed this particular part up to partitioner in detail in my previous video if you want to know the detail explanation you can go through the link given in the description box so just a quick recap so here our app is running that can be in java python etc and using their kafka api we are basically publishing the messages okay or sending the messages to our kafka cluster obviously we have to pass the topic name that is in which topic we want to publish our message and the value part which is actually the message part what we want to publish okay along with that we can send the partition number also like for example if our topic is having multiple partitions then our this particular message will be sitting in which partition that we can mention using partition number or optionally we can pass the key along with the value part and on top of that key one partitioning algorithm will be applied which is kind of a hashing algorithm and based on the output of the hashing algorithm the value part will be going to one particular partition among the existing partitions for that particular topic right like that it works now one thing you are understanding in a very simple way from this particular diagram that whenever we call a send method okay generally if you recall in my previous video whenever i discussed kafka python integration then i have used send method to send some messages from python to kafka right so whenever we call send method then obviously first serialization and then partitioning happens and immediately the message never goes to kafka cluster but rather it basically going to a in memory queue kind of data structure which is acting like buffer here okay you can also call this one as record accumulator here it is accumulating the records okay so let's just explore this particular part in a better way today in this particular video okay so let me switch to powerpoint so some important properties related to kafka producer right so we know that whenever we send message using python or java api for kafka message is not immediately sent to kafka cluster but rather it is stored to in memory queue kind of data structure which is called buffer or record accumulator okay so this overall complete stuff you can consider as record accumulator right and what is the purpose of the buffer buffer basically used for efficient io operations and compressions okay basically it never send individual message to kafka cluster but rather it try to group some messages and create micro batches okay so this concept is called micro batching right and then what it does once the batch size condition is satisfied basically we can mention what should be a batch size okay keep on messages are accumulating and once the accumulation of messages or that particular batch fulfill the batch size condition that is this much mb of data is accumulated if that kind of condition is satisfied or else there is another property called linger ms if that much millisecond time is over then one particular batch is sent to kafka cluster right that's how it works which i already covered in my previous video also so you can see one important point here that from the buffer to kafka cluster what operation take the messages basically there is a io thread and that take the responsibility of putting the messages from the kafka buffer the batches it take and it publish in kafka cluster or it write in kafka cluster okay so here some important property like linger ms is one of them then batch size what should be the batch size for which micro batching will happen and then each micro batch will be sent to kafka cluster that is another property okay batch size you can generally mention in bytes okay similarly linger ms is generally defined with millisecond time right and then this overall buffer or record accumulator volume also you can mention using buffer dot memory there is a property and in buffer dot memory you can mention what should be your buffer memory okay which is basically your in memory queue or acting like record accumulator for efficient io operation and compression which basically perform micro batching okay what should be memory for that that you can mention using buffer dot memory okay 
So these are three important properties related to Kafka producer. One is buffer memory, one is batch size, one is linger MS. Another important property is max.block.ms. What it is? Just consider in a very high speed messages are coming. Okay. And our IO thread obviously having some delay to take the message and write in Kafka cluster. Okay. But at what speed this IO thread is writing the messages in Kafka cluster if messages are coming in the buffer with a speed greater than that then obviously you can understand after a limit the buffer will be full right so if buffer is full then the producer send method using which we are sending the message in Kafka cluster that send method is blocked okay if our buffer this particular portion that buffer memory if it is full okay so if buffer memory is full, then the send method is blocked for a particular span of time. And that span of time you can configure in max block ms. Okay. So if you are mentioning max block ms equal to 5 millisecond, then what will happen if the messages are coming in a very high speed and due to which if your buffer memory is full, then the send method will be blocked for 5 millisecond. And we can hope that within that 5 millisecond, the buffer can send some messages to Kafka cluster using IO thread and that way in buffer memory there some empty space will be created so that new messages can come and can be accumulated in that empty space okay so that's the importance of max block ms okay? so that's what I have written here when you are sending messages too fast using producer API then you have to take care of these properties one is buffer memory another one is max block ms so let's just have a look what I have written here that is when producer call send method then the message will not be immediately sent but it is added to a internal buffer or you can consider this as in memory queue data structure kind of stuff okay the default buffer memory is 32 mb if the producer send messages faster than that can be transmitted to broker or there is a network issue due to which suppose from the buffer the messages are not going to be written in Kafka cluster then it will exit the buffer dot memory and then the send call will be blocked up to max dot block dot ms okay so that's what the picture is also showing producer send method is sending the messages buffer memory is 32 MB if due to some reason the 32 MB is full then it will block the send method for max dot block dot ms milliseconds okay and after that again it will allow the send method to publish the message basically we can hope that within that particular max dot block dot millisecond buffer memory will able to send some messages and it will be empty little bit there will be some space created where new messages can be written okay so what are the important properties one is max block millisecond one is buffer memory one is batch size one is linger image okay these properties are very important what we have seen till now okay right so now let's just see this particular diagram and try to understand one particular issue okay so suppose you have mentioned linger ms equal to zero linger ms zero means what linger ms zero means as soon as one message comes in our buffer then the message should be sent to kafka cluster right we are not allowing kafka to accumulate some messages and send the micro batch basically we are not allowing the micro batches if you are mentioning linger ms equal to zero and by default in case of our kafka producer the linger ms is set to zero okay so what you can expect generally if you are using default configuration with linger ms equal to zero as soon as you are sending some message it will be going to kafka cluster right but that is not true here io thread is writing the messages from the buffer to cluster right so you should understand like this way that if you are making linger ms equal to zero then if some messages are available in your buffer immediately it will be sent to kafka cluster if your io thread is free okay if suppose your io thread is busy then suppose one single message is there and linger ms is zero that means the message should be immediately written to kafka cluster right but suppose your io thread is busy so it is not possible for Kafka cluster to write your message that time, right? So it is not necessary that always if linger ms equal to zero, immediately the message will be written in Kafka cluster. That time also we need the buffer, okay? So if the messages you are writing in a very high speed with linger ms equal to zero, then you should not expect by default that all the messages will be immediately available to Kafka cluster. But rather what you should expect that if the speed is not matching, suppose IO trade is taking some time to write individual message, then obviously here in the buffer messages will be keep on accumulated. So you should expect like this way that if linger MS is zero, 
and if our message we are publishing in buffer if our io thread is available then and there the message will be written in kafka cluster it will not have any time for accumulation okay like that you think don't think io thread is not taking any time to write the message it also have some delay right so that particular point let me show you with one experiment okay so here what i will do i will go to my kafka logs and i will delete all the logs to start a fresh kafka cluster So here I have deleted everything. Now what I will do? I will go to my PyCharm and here I will basically launch my Zookeeper first. So here Zookeeper I will launch. So here you can see it is running in default port two one eight one. Then here I can launch Kafka server. So here our Kafka server is started and it will basically run in default port 9092 as you know. Okay, right. So here you can see in 9092 port it is running. Now what I will do, I will create a Kafka topic with replication factor 1 and partitioning 1 just for demo purpose. Later we can change replication factor if we are using multi broker Kafka cluster and all. Okay, so here this is the topic name hello world is created. Okay. And here this is my consumer port. So what I will do, I will open the consumer in command prompt. So here our consumer is started. Okay. And now here what I am doing, I am basically using Kafka producer Python API. And here I am creating the producer object. I am mentioning the bootstrap server or broker server where it is running. And value serialization, I am using JSON serialization, right? So because I want to send JSON related messages. So first I am using dumps to convert JSON to string and then I am using string encoding as simple as that. Okay. And then here we are publishing the messages using a for loop. So thousand messages I will be publishing here. It will look like JSON number E. I am printing the data and I am sending the data. Okay. So what you should expect if we just run this particular code starting from number zero to number 999. All the messages should be coming to consumer also because our here our consumer is also running. Okay, so here I started running my Kafka producer, and here you can see it is finished. Okay, sorry, here I have given wrong topic name. Let me just change the topic name to Hello World, and let me just run this one. Okay, and here you can see in a rapid speed the messages are coming in consumer also. But point to be noted one thing here in producer. The messages you have written up to 999 number 999 right but in consumer the messages came up to 997 okay so let's just observe what is happening so if i go to server logs and here if i go to hello world zero okay which is our topic if i go to the log where our messages are written if i go little below here if i scroll little bit right here also you will see the maximum number which is written it is 997 okay that means what that means message 998 and 999 is not written okay due to some reason and why is that let's try to understand okay so here you see we are publishing the message we are using producer.send method okay so first of all one thing you can have a clear idea that here the messages are very small okay it is not very big and by default the buffer memory is configured as 32 mb for our python api so obviously that will not exceed it is not like buffer memory is exceeding that cannot happen because the messages are very small it will be in terms of kb only so buffer memory is not exceeding so what is the problem happening here so number one thing here linger ms is set to zero so no micro batching concept is applied as soon as message is available it should be written in kafka cluster but that is not happening so basically what is happening that here rapidly we are publishing messages okay it is coming to kafka internal buffer and kafka io thread is writing messages to kafka cluster right now as i told you that it is having a little bit delay it takes some time to write the message from kafka buffer to kafka cluster that you should understand okay and that's why i am showing you this particular experiment also so what is happening 
that because we are sending the message in a very rapid speed, some messages are accumulated in buffer. Okay, and IO is writing in a FIFO order from the buffer to the Kafka cluster. Okay, now once I have sent all the messages, maybe some messages are accumulated in our buffer, and IO is writing. That time, what I am doing here, I am coming out of the code process finished with exit code zero. We are not giving some time to this IO thread to take rest messages which are accumulated in buffer to write in Kafka cluster and that's why we are losing some amount of messages here up to 997 it is coming although we are publishing up to 999 because 998 and 999 are basically present in Kafka buffer which our IO thread was not able to take and publish in Kafka cluster okay because before that only we have finished the code and we came out with exit code 0 okay so rather what we should do we should add two more properties which is very important and often you will see in your production code some developers are adding this that is producer dot flush okay and then producer dot close okay what this producer dot flush will do producer dot flush will basically flush all the messages from buffer to Kafka cluster okay so basically you can think like this way suppose some messages are there in your buffer and then your IO is keep on writing your for loop is over but then also some some messages are there in buffer what the producer dot flush at the end it will do it will make sure that all the messages from buffer are flushed and IO thread is writing that in Kafka cluster okay and then what we are doing here we are closing the Kafka producer connection whatever we have created so these two comments you have to write okay so let me show you so here what i will do i will just come out of this particular consumer and then here what i will do i will start a new consumer i will not use from beginning because i want to just consume only new messages and now what i will do i will run the same code and now we should see that all the messages up to 999 this consumer is able to consume okay so let's just run and see so here you can see this time the consumers has consumed up to message 999 okay and if i go to kafka logs here if i just scroll a little bit down and in right hand side if i go here you will see now this time it is written up to 999 that's the importance of producer.flask i hope you understood this